speak visually. And she said, my dad walked into a diner, looked at the waitress and said, that's my wife in 1946. I said, I bet this is a good story and I hope it has a happy end and you're the result. I said, what you need to start with is when was it? In 1946, my dad walked into a diner. You do not have to have been born in 1946 to know that's the end of World War II. You don't have to have been born in America. You've seen enough movies. You've heard stories. You've read books. You even know what the diner looked like because of theme restaurants and movies. Now, I don't know about your story, because we see our stories differently, but to me, her dad's in a uniform, he's a soldier. And I know he has experienced situations he will never talk about. Not to his future wife or children, not to his civilian friends. I have an emotional connection to people who serve our countries in any branch of the armed forces. So I'm rooting for this guy. And remember, all she has said is, in 1946, my dad walked into a diner. When we set it up the right way, people see the scenes. Because I bet, I bet he walked in alone, he sat at the counter. And I bet the waitress, and I know what she looked like, she was blonde, she had a little cap, she had a penny over her dress, she had thick, rimply skirt shoes, and I bet she said, would you like some pie and coffee, honey? And he thought, that's my wife. So I challenge you to revisit your stories. When did it happen? Put it in context for the audience. Where was it? Help me visualize. Take me to the scene. And as Michael Hayes said, get into the scene. Don't, you don't need the setup. Where was it? Who is in it? And of course, what happened? And in the context of your speech, the result of that was.